Nissan GTR launch control. Race on launch control offers instant adjustment of the launch control RPM using the cruise control switch. Choose a different launch RPM for each of the four map switch modes. Choose a different boost pressure target for each of the four different map switch modes. Sometimes referred to as boost off the line. It's a low torque, closed loop boost control offering maximum airflow ready for launch without loading and damaging the clutches. Opening the tuned ROM file with the latest race ROM feature file 12738 applied. We can see the race ROM feature file has added launch control special features. We go to Ecutech race ROM maps. We go to launch control. And we can see that most of the maps have a description. So I'm going to take the description away so we can get the map names in. So remember we have four map switch modes that we can use and this one is the AFR target during each mode. So you have a richer AFR launch target during certain modes if you desire. We have um, on the LC4, LC5, LC6, the launch control is a factory RPM parameter. The launch RPM, we find that maps by function. Launch control, and we can see the launch control RPM in this particular ROM. We saw it is 3,300 RPM, so this is a 2010 Euro spec GTR. We can set with the race ROM launch controller a minimum and maximum that the customer will be able to select. The maximum is 4,500, the minimum is 2,500. These are default, default values that we as Equitech set up. You can adjust them as you see fit. The RPM step is every time we use the race ROM launch control, we can adjust by 250 RPM. So that's four presses of the cruise control, reducing 250 RPM each time. We can adjust the VBT during launch mode for each of the four modes. And more interesting, our latest feature update is the target manifold pressure during launch mode. So many of you may have seen that we can adjust the launch RPM, but now with the latest uh, phase three release, we can also control boost pressure during launch control. So we can configure the manifold pressure, which is after the throttle body, plenum-based pressure sensor, the pressure, closed loop pressure in the inlet manifold while we're in launch mode ready to go. The launch RPM may be 4000 but if we want in mode 4 maybe we want minus 0 0.2 bar in mode 4 and if we interpolate down so we're going to have minus 0 0.4 by mode 2 minus 0 0.3 bar in mode 3, minus 0 0.2 bar in mode 4. Now this still isn't positive boost pressure, it's not even 1 bar absolute yet, but this is the pressure after the throttle remember. The boost pressure before the throttle will be queuing to get through and it will certainly be a positive pressure. Now how do we achieve this? We achieve this with some clever um, ignition control, uh, reducing the ignition, reducing the torque output, less strain on the uh, clutches, and we have a default settings that we've configured here, but you're free to play with. 
with ignition retard um, during launch control. So depending on your target, depending what your ignition timing is going to be. And for a boost error, we have a proportional lookup that will adjust the ignition timing to get the RPM to get the sorry the pressure back to where we want it to be, which ultimately is going to affect the RPM. The ECU controlling the throttle. We're controlling. Um, we're controlling the ignition. At the moment, the adjustment that we have is the launch RPM. If you set up the boost pressure differently in different modes, you can have more boost. In, in different modes by configuring the launch control manifold pressure target. So the cruise control is adjusting the RPM, but you can configure the pressure target different in the different modes. We cannot adjust the target pressure via the con cruise control at this time. A few people have asked about it. Um, but we'll see how feedback goes. You can increase and decrease the RPM, therefore turning up and down the torque, um, and change your pressure in different modes, get the car set up right. This is on our website, it's the launch control video, so you can see it in action. Now, um, I'm not going to play this at this time, it's a four minute video but you guys are welcome to view this afterwards. It's on our website under the GTR products and you'll see it's under launch control. But you will see um, the launch control in action and the map switching working where we change the RPM and we change the target boost pressure during the launch. <laughs> 